Mrs. Levin. We are the Spirit Sisters. Good morning, Millennia. Oh my goodness, happy Friday. Um, there might be some of you wondering out there in Millennial Land, well, who are these two ladies and why are they dancing and why are they matching? Mrs. Levin, who are we? We are the Spirit Sisters of Millennial and we are here to bring joy, spread kindness, and help you be the best you that you can be. We love spreading positivity and we kind of like to dress up in themes. I mean, it's kind of our jam. Um, Mrs. Levin, can anyone join our spirit family? Absolutely. Yes, we, we love we, having friends join us. We're constantly looking for friends that are spreading positivity and being kind and joining our team is as easy as that. It is amazing. So if you are ever interested in being a spirit sister or a spirit brother or a spirit family member, we'd love to have you. All you need to do is just spread it from here. Love it. All right, what's going on today, Mrs. Levin? All right, my friend, we have an awesome lunch coming our way. For Yum. lunch, we have ham and cheese power packs. Boom, power, Ooh. let me see it. Ooh. We also have golden chicken nugget, nope, golden chicken corn dog. That's Delish. Nice. Nice. Delish. And, and those then, of you who want to get organized a couple days away on Monday for breakfast, strawberry banana yogurt cup. That's right. I have been seeing a lot of responsibility with my friends coming in, eating those breakfasts. Now, I don't know about the rest of the classes in Millennial, but we set a challenge at the beginning of the year when we first came in our breakfast a really long time. And we're working hard to shorten that eating well, washing our hands, eating, and then cleaning up quickly so that we can get to that important learning. So I bet a lot of other classes are taking that challenge. Are you doing that as well, Ms. Oh, Pinkus? absolutely, absolutely. And we get it done. We get it, our, few, our food, if I could talk, to fuel us for math because we have math right away and we're ready to rock. And my yeah. class has been doing such a good job getting their trash in the trash can. And maybe some of other classes are doing this around Millennial. Any days that we have like milk or juice left over, they do such a good job pouring it in the sink first, then mm -hmm. putting it in the garbage, just so there's not like a leak. So yes. shout out to all of you who are doing that. That's right. That's accountability and organization of keeping our building so nice and clean. I love that. All um, right. We're not the only cool people that pop in on the announcements. Mm -hmm. Mr. Clamp was walking around this week. He was, and he... Um, he was in Mrs. Rice's class, I believe. That's right. Welcome, Mrs. Rice. We are so glad to have you as part of our millennial family. You're going to rock it. I love her positivity. I always see her smiling and just having such a good time with all those little kinder friends. So maybe we could have her join us on the spirit. Ooh, right? That would be super I fun. Love it. I love it. Two classes that got to win the Mr. Clamp Challenge. Who were they, Mrs. Levin? Mrs. Sullivan and Mrs. Merrick. Woohoo! Oh, all right. So if you won Mrs. Sullivan and Mrs. Merrick's classrooms, then please reach out to Mr. Lamp, not Mr. Lamp, Mr. Lamp for your prize. That's right. All right, Mrs. Pincus, not only do we spread kindness, but we like to spread smiles and laughs. And yeah. I have to say, friends, one of my funniest friends here on campus is Mrs. Pincus. Let him rip. Let's hear those jokes, friend. So I do love a good joke. I love a good pun. It's just my jam. Um, so I have some back to school jokes for you, friends. Are you ready for this first one? Okay, why did the kid eat his homework? Why did the kid eat his homework? I don't know. His teacher said it was a piece of cake. <laughs> oh, 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 Maybe some funny. of you out there in millennial land are like, yeah, my homework's a piece of cake. No problem. I get it done yeah, after it. school. Yeah, and there's others of you that are thinking I'd rather have cake than homework. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll eat cake while I do my homework. Love it. And another one. Okay, this one I think is my, my favorite one. Why can't pirates learn the alphabet? Hmm. Why can't pirates learn the alphabet? I don't know. Because they keep getting lost at sea. <laughs> Terrible, but awesome. So funny. I lost love at sea. See? Oh, love it. Love it. Love Mrs. Pincus. You always give me a good knee slapper. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. All right. We're moving on. We're to moving on. Ruben. Favorite part. I have some too. All what right. are these? Tell us about these. To our new friends, these are our magic 
glasses. These are for the Spirit Sisters and they work when we put them on. We can travel through the building and we can see any kiddo we want. We can also see adults. We see you doing amazing things. We see you making awesome choices. And so right now we're putting them on. So go ahead for us, sit a little bit taller. Get ready, get prepared. We're looking for this. We're looking for those of you who are showing some sore character traits right now. That's right. Safe, organized, accountable, respectful. So what are you showing to us right here, right now? All right. Wow, actually, Mrs. Levin, I'm cruising all the way to <gasps> kindergarten. Um, okay, this teacher is absolutely super lucky today because they won the Mr. Clamp Challenge. I'm seeing Mrs. Sullivan. Hi, Mrs. Sullivan. Oh, I just love you. Happy Friday. I bet you're excited for the weekend. Um, I'm seeing one student in particular, a little girl. <gasps> I see. Ada, hey Ada, good morning. I see you absolutely rocking this um, kindergarten thing. You're just showing sore behavior all the time. So fabulous work, keep it up. Okay. All right. I'm not going too far from kinder. Where are you going? I'm, hop I'm hopping up to first grade land with Mrs. Butcher. Hi, Miss Butcher. All right, Miss Butcher, your class is doing amazing right now. But there is one friend that's really sticking out to me, Mia. Mia, you are doing such a good job coming in and doing your morning work with a zero voice level. I love that you're working on that. Way to go, bud. Oh, that's so important, that voice level chart. We're going to have that so memorized by the end of the year. Nice job. Um, okay, I'm also not moving too far from first grade either, Mrs. Levin. I'm moving to another teacher who already won today. Okay, these teachers are so lucky. Hi, Mrs. Merrick and grade friends. That's so awesome. I'm seeing a friend named, oh, Cleo. Hey, Cleo. Okay, I definitely see you working hard and making amazing choices. Keep it up and have an awesome Friday. I love it. Way to go, bud. All right, in third grade land, I'm moving, I'm grooving, and I'm popping in with Mrs. Desik. Hey, girl, how's it going? All right, Mrs. Desik, you have two friends that are rocking and rolling. I have Avani and Kaylee. Avani and Kaylee, you are doing such a good job of working hard and being amazing teammates. Way to go. Ooh, I love it. Oh, Mrs. Stesic is so awesome. She's always smiling too. We need to have her join us on the Spirit Show. Okay, I'm actually going into a place I know and love very much. I'm in the fourth grade pod. Um, I see the one, the only, the beautiful Mrs. Speth. Hey, Mrs. It's Friday. I know you're having pizza tonight. I am too. All right. I see two friends. I see Isabella and Austin. Okay. You seem to always be following directions and listening to your teachers, getting your classwork completed. That is what being an amazing source student is all about. So keep it up. Mrs. Pincus, yeah. My glasses are taking me all the way across the building. Oh. I'm going from third grade all the way. Whoop. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. Hi, fifth grade. All right. Mrs. Monahan, how are you, friend? Oh my gosh, my glasses are going on overload mode because it's not one student, it's not two students, it's the whole class. Monahan, T. Monahan, woo, 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 woo! T. Monahan, you are using respectful words and actions, and it is shining through with all that you do, especially the way you are treating your specials teachers and lunch staff. That is amazing. We want to show respect all around Millennial, and that is. Awesome. Okay. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling exhausted yeah, these, from all of that traveling. These were so excited to get used. They've been yes. taking a break from the summer and now they need to recharge a little bit. So yes. Woo! Um, I love it. I love getting to pop in, pop in and see you guys. So hopefully if we didn't make it to you this time, we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. And remember, we always want to show excellent behavior. Maybe That's focus right. on one thing you really want to focus on next week. And we'll see if we have you next time on the Spirit Sister Show. All right, my friends. Are you ready to stand on up? Let's do it. Let's do that pledge. All right, Mrs. Pincus, help me out. What are we starting with? Let's start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Would you like me to do it? I would love for you to do it. And then you can do the Millennial Pledge. I would love to do it. Okay, let's do it. Stand it on up. Oh, there's my tutu. Hey, I'm wearing red, white, and blue for the flag. Okay, here Ooh. we go. Hand over your heart. Ready, begin. 
I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for a moment of silence. All right, kiddos, raise that hand for me. I pledge to be a millennial falcon. Watch me soar. Safe, organized, accountable, respectful are my main four. And don't forget, millennial, soaring counts no matter what. Have a great day, you guys. Oh, we have to dance it out. We have to. Get out, girlfriend. <laughs>